Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Moto G Play that won't turn on. If you have a Moto G Play smartphone and it won't power on, you should try these fixes first. This will be a simple tutorial with some easy instructions, so let's get right into the video. And obviously, just for clarity, my Moto G Play does power on, obviously, but if it didn't power on, this is what I would do. And if you have a Moto G other type of smartphone, so not a Moto G Play, but a Moto G something else, then these might work for your phone as well, so feel free to try them out if they make sense. The first thing is to charge it for a while. Now, if you are experiencing a software glitch or a hardware glitch on your Moto G Play smartphone, when you plug your phone into the charger, it might not recognize that it's plugged in because there might be a delay. Sometimes the delay can be a few seconds, sometimes it can be even longer. This is completely normal with technology, okay? It happens happens all the time with all phones and all devices for the most part. So plug it in and leave it for at least half an hour before you make any assumptions. This is especially true if you let the battery drain completely recently. If you just finished letting the battery drain completely and you plug it in, it does take a while before you can power it back on. And this is normal with most devices, like I said. So plug it in, leave it for at least half an hour before you start making any assumptions about it not working or there being a problem. Number two, check your charging components. Now there are many components that deal with your charging your phone, your Moto G Play smartphone, starting at the outlet. You wanna make sure that the power outlet works. So plug in a lamp to it and make sure that it works, okay? And obviously, you know, like if you're plugging in your charger to the bottom portion of the outlet, you wanna test that bottom portion of the outlet. Don't assume that they're connected, the top and the bottom. Most of the time they are connected, depending on where you live, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're on different uh, circuits or different lines. So make sure you're testing the exact one that you will be plugging your charger into. Make sure your power is in good condition and has the right wattage and amperage and so forth make sure your charging cable doesn't have any breaks in it any kinks any frays any bends anything like that make sure the end of the charger that plugs into the phone is in good working order with where the pins are in good working order and make sure that your phone port for your charger is free of lint and debris. Sometimes there's lint caught in there. You plug it in, it's not charging. The battery is drained completely and that's why your phone won't turn on. So, you know, check these things to make sure that they're good to go. The third thing that you can do is hold down the power button for a while. So if your phone is turned off, so let's say, let's imagine right now, my phone is turned off, right? And I press the power button for a second and I release it. No, it's not turning on. I can't figure out why it's not turning on, right? You wanna press and hold that power button down for at least 30 seconds, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes, if you're experiencing a hardware or software glitch, you know, there might be a delay in the phone recognizing that you're pressing the button down. So by holding it down for at least 30 seconds, you're pretty much bypassing any idea that you might have a hardware or software glitch that's preventing the phone from recognizing that you're pressing down the button. Also, does your power button feel like a normal amount of clicky or does it feel a little bit spongy? If it feels spongy, maybe there's dirt or debris caught in there and it's not actually clicking. So always keep that in mind, okay? So kind of hold down the power button for 30 seconds and make sure it feels normal, okay? Lastly, um, you wanna start it in safe mode. You wanna try starting it in safe mode. Now this is if if it, if it you get to the power on screen, like if you get to the Motorola, the Moto logo and it's not like fully completing the power on, right? Cause you need to get to that Moto logo in order to start it in safe mode. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna unlock the phone. I'll show you how to start it in safe mode, okay? So from here, Let's just let it load up because I just rebooted it recently. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna power it down. So I'm imagining that your phone, you're able to get to the intro screen, the Moto logo, but you're not able to start it up. It couldn't be a third party application that's causing this problem. By starting it in safe mode, you're bypassing that potential, okay? Because it's gonna it's gonna operate without the third party applications. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold down the power button, okay? Until the Moto logo appears, okay? Then we're gonna release the power button, count to three, two, one, and hold down the, the volume down button and just continue holding down the volume down button. So like I said, um, we were waiting three seconds once the Moto logo appeared and then we released the, you know, sorry, when the Moto logo appeared, we released the power button. We waited three seconds, then we pressed and held down on the volume down button and I'm continuing to hold it down, that volume down button, and we're waiting and now you can see right here, it says safe mode, we've started the phone in safe mode. So now what we can do is we can, 
see if it turns on in safe mode. And then if it turns on in safe mode, then it's likely gonna be something to do with a third party application that is causing the problem. You saw right there on the bottom, it says safe mode. That's how you know it's in safe mode. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.